Hello, welcome back to our series, Behind the Scenes of Nautilus. I'm Commander Brad Boyd, Director of Submarine Force Museum and officer in charge of Historic Ship Nautilus. This episode, we actually finish up with crews berthing in the forward portion of the ship, uh, part in the lower level and the rest in the after portion of the torpedo room. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. This will actually be the last episode in the hull. Uh, after this, we're gonna be going uh, topside to the superstructure area, which is the area between the pressure hull and the uh, um, top of the deck and then we'll be going into uh, the bridge, which is in the sail. With that, on with the tour. Okay, so going forward, we have two berthing areas here. So one down those stairs there, other down there. So, going on down. So pretty standard berthing area. No real difference from the other spots. Not much headroom, as you can see. So it's uh, not sure that I would actually be able to roll over without some uh, finagling of my shoulders. Um, but uh, modern boats, it's uh, instead of four high like you see here, or three high with a stowage area there because they couldn't fit another person underneath here given the curve of the hull that you kind of see coming up there. Um, we have a little bit more room, so we only stack three high, uh, but that's the birding over here. So, personal lockers. So they would have this coffin locker. So that lifts up, just like the other ones. All of these do that. And then they would have some personal lockers for storage of uh, whatever they need to store as well. So, uh, okay. going up this side. And again down this half. You can see a little bit better. Uh, racks are stripped a little bit over here. Um, you still have equipment going through. Uh, so this has been for, uh, uh, it looks like EM log. Might have been over here. Uh, it's the same system you'll see in the torpedo room uh, in just a second. Uh, so, rest of crew's berthing. That, by the way, is a sanitary tank. So they had three sanitary tanks on board. So this would be storing um, uh, waste, we'll, we'll put it nicely. Um, usually San 1 and 3, at least on board the 688, are, uh, are waste from, you know, restrooms heads, and San 2 is, uh, dishwater waste, sink waste. Um, so it's not, it's not open, it's just an access point. If they had to go into there, you will have to clean tanks, including sanitary tanks, during availabilities to ensure that there's no degradation to hull strength or anything else, because that would not be a good day to have something like that go bad so all right up here and we're coming up on the uh, rest so torpedo room birthing once again as I talked about earlier the birthing wall actually s didn't stop here so you can see right here those are rack vents so there's actually a rack here here and here and then uh, you can see up to the grating is another one up there so the racks actually came out all the way to here so you'd have another uh, four racks that way see back in here um, coffin locker so that's kind of how the clothes would actually get stowed in that in that locker um, and then they would go birthing them all the way up here and there's actually two more racks here which you can see that little fan right there I can see right here that's right there that's the giveaway that there's a there's a rack there so that rack had that fan and there'd be another one there and another one up there and that's how you can tell that there were two more racks inside this space as well um, so one other piece of equipment we didn't actually get to talk about. So that's the EM log, so underwater log. Um, so the way this works is it's, it's basically a pitot tube, but it's going to measure the difference in pressures, and it's telling you how fast the actual uh, uh, ship is going uh, through the water. And they could raise and lower that um, to uh, uh, provide maintenance on it, as well as uh, if they're going uh, in an area they didn't want to potentially... Uh, if, uh, lose it, for example, going through the ice, um, they could uh, take it up for a period of time to, to do whatever they needed to do. Um, and then you can see back in there, um, that's what's actually its readout um, to determine what the ship's speed is. So all this does is it gives you speed through the water. It does not give you speed over ground. So that just says you're going through the water at, call it five knots. 
Um, however, if the water is pushing you from behind um, at two knots, then you're really going seven, or it's pushing against you from ahead, then you're really going three. So this helps you estimate your position, but it's, uh, it's not taking into account that the world is and the ocean is a treadmill and you're either walking with it or against it and how far you're actually going. For example, you could be doing five miles per hour walking on a treadmill, but you're not actually going anywhere. Same thing could be happening if you're doing two, two to five knots in the water and you're going against a head current of two to five knots, then really you're station keeping um, or potentially even being moved backwards. I've had that at a point. I'm going slow enough, but I'm going against the current and I'm actually making backwards over ground even though I'm driving forward through the water. So, But EM log, that's how we actually, actually measure our speed through the water. So... All right, so that does it for our uh, tour inboard. Um, next episode, uh, we'll uh, actually go into some of the upper areas. So I mentioned we're going to be going into the superstructure. So the superstructure is uh, uh, the area between the pressure hull, everything that kept the water out, and the wooden deck. Uh, and so it's a free flood area, so it's, norm it's normally wet, it's not watertight by any stretch. Um, and that's the area we're going to be going into uh, next episode. And the episode after that, we're actually going to go into the sail and go up the sail into uh, the bridge. So we'll be actually up there on uh, the following episode. So next episode will be down in here. And then following after that, up in the sail. Hope you all enjoyed today's tour. And uh, thanks for coming along. Bye.